this is Corey Cohen and want to address one question I always get from clients is, what is the value of outdoor space in a New York City apartment? If you guys have been enjoying these videos, please like, uh, subscribe, all that good stuff. Really appreciate it. And we'll keep it coming for you. So getting down to it, what is that value for outdoor space? Okay, not all apartments have it. It is a coveted feature. But if you have an interior price per square foot, what is that going to look like on the outdoor component? So I think that there's a couple things to keep in mind, especially when it comes to penthouses for apartments uh, or ground floor apartments with large backyards. If you're looking at that price per square foot, which may or may not exist, depending on whether or not you're looking at a co-op or a condo, right? Co-ops traditionally don't uh, give you a square footage, but if you did look at the quote unquote price per square foot uh, with features where that outdoor space is a very dominant value add component to the apartment, you will see a higher price per square foot relative to other comps with all things being equal. You know, like I've seen buildings with uh, apartments that sell for $2,000 a square foot, but then you get to the penthouse and that's $3,000 per square foot. Keep in mind for New York, on that price per square foot, it doesn't actually include that outdoor space. So that's why that number gets inflated when it's a big feature of an apartment. But if you were just looking side by side at one apartment that had a balcony versus another that didn't, what do you do to capture that value of that outdoor space? Okay, I think a big uh, rule of thumb, at least according to Jonathan Miller, who's an appraiser, is it should be about 50% of the value of the interior space per square foot uh, uh, pricing. So if you had an apartment that had a $1,500 a foot pricing on the interior space, you would take the square footage of the outside and multiply that by 750. And then you're going to have your own separate valuation for the outdoor space, your own valuation for the indoor, you put them together, and that's going to mean to be your apartment's value. Now, it's not a strict 50% rule. I think there is a fluctuation downward from that figure if the utility isn't really there. So if you have like a strip, almost like a small terrace where you can't really put out like say a lounge chair or something that has that utility or you can't really sit outside and have a full kind of outdoor dining experience, or even like a two seater where people could at least sit and eat or drink their coffee, then that outdoor space is going to have a lower value than that 50% that we're talking about. You know, maybe that's more like 25 or 30. Um, you could also probably put some considerations in the mix around the floor height, or if it's front or back of building, but on your traditional typical balcony or like your outdoor terrace, I think 50% is an appropriate figure. Uh, one other item with respect to the utility is also uh, how big the outdoor space is relative to the interior of the apartment. Like I know we talked about say the penthouse where you're in a 3000 foot building in the sky and then you got the thousand square foot roof deck. You know, I don't think for the pedestrian, the typical buyer, is not usually looking for that type of apartment. So I will add this caveat about the utility. Okay, like I've seen small one bedroom apartments, maybe 600 square feet, but they have a 2000 square foot outdoor space. Okay, like more fitting for uh, having a, a ton of events or, or uh, little soirees out there on the deck, you know, but on your day to day usage, you're probably not gonna be able to make that much use of that apartment, assuming you might be one or two people living there. All that extra outdoor space for that apartment, something smaller, doesn't really make sense. So I think in that sense, you wouldn't use that 50% ratio. Maybe it would be more like 20 or 25% just because there's going to be such a smaller pool of buyers who want, say, a small 600 square foot one bedroom apartment with a massive outdoor space. 
So keeping it contextual is also important when it comes to thinking about that valuation on the outdoor space. So hope this was useful. Happy to email over some more information your way. Please remember to subscribe, hit that like button. We will definitely keep some more insights into this New York City market coming for you. And if you have any questions, just reach out. You got all my contact information here and below. Thanks and looking forward to it. Thank you.